Portugal. I had someone ask me a few questions and they were pretty lengthy so I wanted to turn it into a video. Um, I went to Portugal right before the pandemic start. I believe it was October and I had a really good time. It was my first time traveling international alone and I felt really safe at the hotel that I stayed in. I ended up staying at a gay resort. At the time that I was booking it, I was mostly just focused on you know what the room looked like, what the bathroom looked like, and it's Europe so I thought, oh, gay means happy. Come to find out, gay means gay uh, in most places. And that actually really just added to the layer of comfort that I felt at the resort because I'm surrounded by a whole bunch of gay men. They are literally not worried about me. I'm the only woman on the premises and they're kind of just looking at me like, how'd she get here? But outside of that, very, very safe uh, with the hotel. Um, they talked to me about getting uh, scammed and theft uh, while they were in Portugal. Apparently that's like a big thing. Uh, when I travel, one of the main things that I have on me is a fanny pack. So I carry most of my things in a fanny pack. Of course, I'm not walking around with my passport, but I do have, you know, my cards, my phone, lip balm, uh, a charger, a mobile charger, and some headphones. So I carry all of these things in my fanny pack. So it makes it a lot harder for pickpockets to get you because of course they're gonna have to like navigate this whole situation on, on top of your belly. So hopefully by then you have enough situation awareness to where you could look into, look at, feel what's going on and you know, adjust accordingly. So I didn't really deal a lot with uh, anyone stealing from me. Um, quite the contrary, I went to stay at, well no I didn't want to stay, I went to eat at a restaurant and they had some really really good food and then once it was time to pay I was like, oh you guys only take cash damn I have no cash and they actually let me leave the restaurant not leave any belongings or anything they said okay you know what go get some cash and come back and honestly that was probably the most gracious thing that I could imagine and definitely not something that happens too often in America just someone just saying oh yeah you know come back and bring the cash or go to an ATM and da 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 da. That was very, very gracious. Uh, for the most part, I did use my phone to navigate. Uh, of course, try not to really just stare at it while I'm walking throughout the city, but I didn't really need it because what thing that I will do is just leave my room. Leave my room and just start walking. I don't know where I'm walking, but hopefully I find something cool and hopefully I find something I like. And that's my favorite way to explore the city versus going to see sights and all those other things. I felt like if I just hit the pavement, then it would benefit me a lot more and I'd see a lot more of the culture that way. So I didn't really use my phone a lot except when it was time to navigate back to my hotel room. Uh, and sometimes by then I trekked all over across town and I needed an Uber to get back home. Um, what else did she ask me? Because it was quite a few things. And he uh, gave, I booked an appointment with him and got a tattoo, which was pretty awesome. Uh, I felt like, oh, I'm in Portugal, let's do something wild. And of course I got a tattoo, uh, a hand tattoo at that. Um, that was pretty cool. Let's see. you were saving for whatever your savings goal was and you get to spend it where necessary and that really helped me with traveling and I felt so comfortable with knowing that not only do I have a traveling budget but I can do that without having to break my ass or bust my balls. I have found out that there are some pay in for payment plans for flights which I haven't tried out yet but I'm definitely interested in it because it seems like a really good deal especially when you are looking at more expensive flights which are mostly international so I will be looking into those and circle back surrounding that. Um, outside of that on my trip to Portugal uh, I use TripAdvisor a lot. TripAdvisor was one of my favorite 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 things. I ended up kayaking at the beach, I went on a wine tour, and really got to see a lot of the scenery. Like, I don't like touristy spots, like, uh, but I do love scenery and I do love experiences. So what is more 
amazing experience than kayaking off the coast of Portugal. Um, very, very, very beautiful coast. And it was a little bit freezing cold out there, but that's neither here nor there. Um, Love the wine tasting tour and they got to tell me a little bit about the culture and some things that you probably wouldn't find online because only the locals know about it. So the men were very, very friendly there, which, you know, isn't really much of a surprise. So I didn't have any problems when I went there and I actually daydream about going back. I cannot wait to go back to Portugal and explore a little bit more. So. That's all I have for Portugal. I will be touching bases about uh, some of my other trips since I've been getting asked and I've always wanted to share my experience. So come back and see what else is in store. Bye.